Hola a todos, welcome back to another video. So today's video is a very exciting one for me and uh, it is our engagement. So I probably would have waited a little bit longer or like in the future to do this video, but since it's the, the, the anniversary is September 30th, I wanted to go ahead and do it because, you know, I've started back my channel up and, um, and I just wanted, I just wanted to do, sh I do want to share like some personal things about me so y'all get to know me on another level aside from like my vlogs or my sit down videos. Like I, I want y'all to get to know me good. So yeah, so we, okay. All right, so we got engaged September 30th of 2017 and um, it's gonna be a year, September 30th, which is tomorrow. So right now we are on our way to get some pictures done for that but anyways that's besides the point so yeah today uh is our engagement story slash meet my fiance so this i'm gonna show you guys have you i've shown you guys in videos say hi babe um i've shown you guys i've shown him in videos but i just wanted to like do an official like meet my fiance people that know me of course know who he is but yeah um that's uh what i wanted to talk about so i'm just gonna ask like javier i'm gonna ask him a couple of questions but i think first i'll i'll talk myself i'll get him a little bit um ready for his moment because he's not really like um a camera guy like he's not about about this like i am like i'm more like all right about being on camera or pictures and stuff and he really isn't like before uh when he got with me he wasn't really like uh let's do pictures kind of guy but he know he knew that i was so he would always do them for me and he still always does them for me and like he's he's nervous about this video because like i said he he's not used to being on camera doing stuff like this like it's not something very he's not very comfortable doing it so i'll just talk first so basically uh i just want to talk about how the day when i'm sorry if the sun is in my face but sorry for that the sun's in my face i just want to talk about like how that that day went on so basically the day that we got engaged was the day that was the baptism for my sister's baby and um my baby which was that day september 30 that's when we were going to baptize them and to be honest i had no clue that that was that that he was planning to do that or nothing like i do remember one thing like once he did do it and afterwards and like the next day i did think about like all the i put i added everything together and i was like okay like i get why you were doing this or you were doing that so basically you know that week he was just he was just at um at work because i think he went this is me but uh, when i ask him i'll get the like the good answers or whatever y'all find out like the i guess the truth like that week he had just worked normal and i'm guessing he went during that week like to get the ring or um because i know he went to talk to my parents too so i'm guessing he went that week but honestly didn't have no clue because during the week he works so and especially since he was going to take saturday off i didn't think um i didn't think much of it i was just like okay he's working like i was never like you know i didn't i really didn't smell it coming or nothing so then on i remember like that friday or thursday or one day that week he was like because we were gonna have a grupo there that played and he was like oh, i'm gonna ask you to dance a song you know just dance uh are you gonna dance with me i was like yeah whatever like i didn't think much of it either i was just like yeah like um i guess because he knows too like it was it was like a very like intimate like the party for their baptism so he knew that i wasn't gonna be like um let's dance or stuff so that's why i feel like to me that's why i thought he was asking me that like you know i'm gonna want us to dance a song or whatever that's all i thought about it so then um the day came I, I remember i woke up super early that day i woke up like five in the morning so i was in a really i was not in the best mood and then we were also rushing even though i got up early like we were rushing to get out of that door that day because we had to be at the church at 10 so i was just rushing getting ready and all that good stuff and then we left and i remember i was just in a bad mood like after the baptism we, i was also starving i had not eaten anything so after that i just remember i was in a bad mood the whole day and he, i remember javier just kept telling me the whole day like today's gonna be a good day like today's a happy day like don't be in a bad mood and whatever he just kept saying that and, I, and of course to me i thought yeah because you know we were baptizing our baby so yeah that was um something good you know it was a it was a good occasion so yeah i remember i was in a and I, I had a really bad i was having an attitude that day <laughs> per usual big according big attitude 
Javier says, I was in such a bad mood and I and I, and once he did it, I added it up. I was like, okay, I see why this is why he was being so patient. I mean he usually is, but I was like he was being extra nice and extra patient. Like nothing that I was doing was pissing him off. Like he would just he wouldn't even say nothing. He was just like when I would say stuff at him, he was just like I guess because he was like, you know, I'm gonna propose today. Like if I piss myself off, I'm not gonna do it anymore. <laughs> is that what you were thinking? <laughs> so then yeah you know the day went on like you know the party we decorated he helped he helped um yeah the day went on we ate you know the grupo got there i remember too i was telling him like don't get a grupo like why are you gonna get that you know because it was something intimate like some of his close friends um from where he used to work went and um and you know just our family so i was like why are you gonna do that you know like why are we spending money on that and he was just like no like you know i re i really want it blah 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 so I, at the end i was just like i guess like me and my sister were saying how like we wanted it to be a small party ended up being like taquero like group all this extra stuff but yeah so i let him have that i didn't think anything of it like everybody did enjoy the music so i guess i'm happy that they they did come and so then um javier goes inside and and I think Santiago was asleep. I was inside because the baby was asleep. And at the at the time he was five, six months, I think. And um, yeah, and Santiago was inside and I was with him. But at the moment he woke up and that's when Javier came in. He's like, oh, let's go dance. And I was like, I guess, you know, I didn't think anything of it. Um, since he had mentioned that to me before, but also I was like, yeah, you know, he asked me to dance. I'm not the type to be like, no, I don't wanna dance with you. So yeah, we went and it was a song playing and then another song came on, which is Mirazón de Ser by uh, Banda Mesa, but the grupo sang it. I didn't think anything of it. I was just like, okay, you know, I think we do like the song. I didn't think in anything of it still. And then um, I remember all of a sudden, like we were dancing the song, like I started hearing people click the camera and I saw that it was my sister. But again, I didn't think anything of it because um, my sister d takes pictures all the time and stuff so I, I wasn't thinking anything of it my parents were dancing too and all of a sudden they walked away and it was just me and Javier and then all of a sudden like he gets on his knee and he pulls out the ring I was like what the hell like I was so so I was not expecting it at all like at all like um and also I wanted to mention this like um we had moved in together what for like like two years before that or three or two we, we had already moved in together, but he knew that I was still expecting like an engagement. Like he knew that I was still expecting for him to ask me the correct way, like to marry him. So, you know, I didn't think it was coming cause he wasn't like telling me, oh, I, you know, it might be coming uh, or anything like that. So I was so surprised. Like he asked me to marry him and I started with my Kim crying face. I was bawling my eyes out and I was holding something too, which was so cute. Like he's usually, and even then he was like whiny and stuff, but he was being so quiet and so good. You remember? Like he was being so good and then my mom came to get him and he just asked me to marry him and yeah and that's how he got engaged and I was like I said I did not expect it at all I was really 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 surprised but yeah um it was it was such a special day and I love that he that you know like he was super good about like not letting me even know like even think about it. i remember also that i'm not the type to get my nails done but for some reason because it was like their baptism you know i wanted to get all dolled up and cute i went to go get my nails done and i was like wow that's crazy like how that all came together so yeah now i'm just gonna now we're gonna get javier's point of view in this <laughs> so how did you why did you decide that day like why did you decide that day no sé, pues porque estaba, no sabía qué día, no sabía qué día lo quería hacer, quería hacer un día donde, donde nos acordáramos, donde, pues sí, un día especial pues, y pues qué más especial que el día del bautizo de, de mi ahijado y de mi hijo, yeah. y aparte pues así ya no se me olvida cada año. Pues. <risa> <laughs> you about to get hit. <laughs> and then, okay, and then, um, oh, uh, um, how did you go about like picking the ring? Like, how did how did that process go? Like, uh, 
pues ya ves que luego a veces que íbamos al mall y eso ya tú mirabas los pues, que te gustaban y eso y pues un día fui cuando decidí dije bueno pues ya es tiempo este, fui a verlo y como que ni lo así me gustó pues así como que al cien sino que miraba los diamantes luego miraba los armazones y y fui pues ahí donde, donde los hacen, donde los... O sea, donde tú puedes escoger cuál armazón, si lo quieres más arriba, más abajo, este diamante, yeah. esto, lo otro. Y... You went to Jared, right? That's Jared? Jared, yeah. yeah. Sí, y... Y ya es... La que estaban bien caros, pues. <laughs> I love you. Y este... No, pues ya fui, este... Y... But when, hicieron, but once you saw it like made or how you wanted it, where you, did you have that like, okay, this is the one uh -huh. moment? Sí, o sea que yo les dije cómo lo quería y, y me lo dejaron, pero no me gustó. Entonces les tuve que decir que me la arreglaran otra cosita. Y ya, este, ya una vez que me lo dieron, yo dije, no, pues este es... Este, ajá, este es el anillo, es el que me gustaba para, para ella, pues, para ti. Yeah. so emotional hearing him say this because y'all do not know how much how bad I tried to get the juicy details from him because he was like I'm not telling you like then you're gonna know and stuff like that so that's super cute and oh this is also something that I wanted to mention he mentioned that you know we went to stores and stuff and I would see some be like oh that's cute but I never was the type to tell him like I want this certain ring this certain style blah 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 like this price i was never the type i was like honestly i would even tell him something honestly i don't even know what i do like like i would i don't i don't know so he picked it out on himself like everything like and that that also meant a lot to me where whether it been the ring that it would have been like that just meant a lot to me because it's something that he picked out not something that i picked out for myself because it wouldn't have the same uh like it wouldn't be as special because you know it's a ring that I picked out and he just went and bought for me. You no, know, it was more like this like he put his thought into it and what he wanted for me um, about it with the ring. What else was I gonna ask you? Oh, how did it go when you talked to my parents and my sister? Like just like a uh, like a overall. Like when did you uh, go talk to them? Con tu hermano fui a hablar con ella. Lo que hice fue que le mandé un mensaje. Con la okay. foto de, del anillo y ya lo tenía yo creo que bueno no no lo tenía sino que como creo que como un mes antes wow. de eso <risa> fue cuando empecé a que, que lo compré y que esto o sea, que fui a verlos pues porque fui empecé como un mes antes y, y ya lo tenía listo como unas dos semanas antes o algo así y este, hace rato estaba buscando el mensaje, pero ya no lo tengo, creo que lo borré. Oh, Para okay, que no lo vieran, okay. pues. Sí. Yeah. Entonces, este. Ya le mandé el. Ah, uh, you say like I check your phone. Like, I'm gonna. <laughs> ah, pero pues uno nunca sabe, pues. ¿Qué tal si la gente me va a arriesgar a que. For me to see it, yeah. Sí, a que mirara así la sorpresa. Y este, ya le mandé la foto a Janet. Y el este. Estaba bien contenta, mandó y que cuando y que esto y que. Yeah. Y ya, pues nomás. ¿Qué sobre mis padres? No fue a hablar con tus papás. <laughs> aunque ya te había robado, pues, pues ya que. <laughs> ¿Really? <laughs> <laughs> ya. Ya que más les iba a quedar, más que. Yo quiero all the sí. juicy stuff. <laughs> sí, so fui a hablar con ellos. Y este. Pues fui, le dije a tu mamá, le dije a tu papá. Pues que, Quería que fueras mi esposa y, y pues que nos dieron la bendición, pues. Yeah. Bueno, mire. And what did they say? What was like their, just like a recap, like, and overall, like what were. Nah, pues eso no les puedo decir. Tú tienes que, que ellos digan eso. Really? I have to do an engagement story, my parents' edition. Yeah. <laughs> okay, um. 
Oh, yeah, I was gonna mention so Oh, yeah, I guess because he had told my sister, I remember me and her were like, oh, you know, so we can be comfortable, we'll wear the dress. But since we were gonna have it on to the morning, I was like, we can change, like, into uh, a more casual dress. And she was like, no. She's like, I thought about it. I think we should just stay in the dresses the whole time because, um, you know, that'll just be better. You know, we don't have to worry about changing. So I was like, okay. And now I'm like, okay, I see why she wanted to do that too because she wanted me to look acá bien elegante. <laughs> <laughs> presentable for when it happened so yeah um anything else you want to add like as far as like the day oh no have you already said that i had a big attitude that day oh man big attitude <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> well yeah guys that's just like it and overall sorry if it, like the video was shaky i just wanted to do it more like a casual like car story time because like i said like javier's not really the type to be on camera or like like me you know to be more comfortable with it so i'm still super appreciative i love you babe thank you <laughs> so yeah guys that's our engagement story like overall everything maybe like in a future like well if y'all had any more questions or anything um we can do one in more in detail or whatever but yeah that's just an overall of our engagement and yeah we've been uh, uh, engaged for a year and we're already looking into like you know our wedding plans and all that of 2020 so i'm spilling some some uh tea that nobody knows yeah we're, th we're thinking about like maybe September-ish, July-ish. We're not sure like ex the exact date, but we're already looking into like venues or like, um, I already know that I'm gonna have my dress made in Mexico. Like I have, I went last year to Mexico and um, I tried on dresses and basically I have a dress in mind that I knew that it's something that it has to be made for me. And over there, I found somebody that can do it for me. Uh, we went to Guadalajara, I went with my family and I found the dress, like it is, the dress for me so um i probably i'm probably be gonna be going next year and i'm gonna be purchasing my dress which i'm so excited and i'm always telling javier how like he's like javier's like my everything like my best friend you know aside from my sister like i don't have like too many like friends but uh I, sometimes i'm going through the pictures that i have of the dress and i want to show it to him i'm like wait i can't show him that yet so yeah i can't wait um just thinking about the day that we get married, I always get so emotional and so sensitive because I just imagine that the day that, you know, I'm walking um, into church with my dress and stuff. So I'm so excited and I cannot wait for that day. But yeah, I'm gonna probably be doing like a wedding series once I get more into like, you know, the venues we go to, um, the theme that I want and all of that. But yeah, that's all for our engagement story. Thank you guys so much for watching. And sorry, like I said, if it was shaky or, you know, the lighting, the sun came in and out. We're in the car, so. But yeah, guys, thank you so much. And thank you so much to my fiance. That's the best ever. And I will talk to you guys next time. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And comment below anything you want to comment uh, or any videos that you want to see concerning the wedding or any questions. Uh, about this video um, and make sure to subscribe if you are not and thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch me and my silly man alright guys we'll talk to you guys later